Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new, my name is Shannon. If y'all are returning to Starbase, what's popping? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Yo, girl, it looks better than the other baby. She is feeling herself. She's feeling this wig. I didn't like when I first initially tried it. If y'all do not know, I wear dentures. And yeah, when I had no makeup on and no teeth, I look like somebody's grandma in this motherfucker. So yeah, this wig is given. Okay, this makeup's giving, and it's giving confidence, bitch. Okay, you should be confident in the skin that you're in. Love the skin that you're in. But yes, I do prefer when I look like this. It makes me feel beautiful, and it makes me feel like I'm on top of the world, and nobody can tell me nothing. And when I look the other way, I'm just like... So yes, I probably should put in a little bit more effort to make myself feel beautiful and confident, but you know, guess what? I'm trying to learn to love the skin I'm in, and it's not necessarily going the way I want, but it's okay. Anyway, baby, we're gonna be talking about the we're gonna be recapping off all the palettes I have used in 2023. Now, some of these have videos on my channel, and some of these don't. I just was like, okay, which palettes did I really use in 2023? We're gonna talk about it, okay? So I have 15, yes, 15 palettes to talk about. Again, y'all, when I be feeling good and I look good. Your girl has an overburst of confidence, so if I come off a little extra sassy, don't mind it, okay? Coming in at the lowest, the lowest totem pole, I gotta give it to the most expensive palette up in here. <laughs> it's the Patrick Tom Major Dimension 2. I don't like this palette, bitch. I don't, I don't like it. Now, the color story is cute. It's this formula of the shimmer shades that really ruined it for me. And, yeah. Okay, color story is pretty up my alley. It's more neutral. You have your warm tones. And you have this, like, multi-weird dual chrome situation going on over here. According to this one, this one. And it's a really pretty palette. You know, aesthetically pleasing. The I don't know what formula he was going for. But, like, these do not perform well with the brush. I don't like them with the finger. I just did not like the formula of the shimmers. Now these mattes, girl. The quality of the mattes, Ugh. bitch. Sorry. I feel like there's something like in my inner ear. Like, you know how you feel like crunchy stuff? Yeah. Alright. But the matte's immaculate. I love the matte formula. I don't like the shimmer formula. To be fair, like, I high key want to depot the mattes in his palette. I do. I probably will. I have no clue. I haven't decided it yet. But I do see that even being decluttered or departed in the near future. So coming in at number fourteen, this palette I kind of got during the summer when it first originally launched. I just thought it was cool. I have never seen a show. I've only seen like one episode. It was kind of annoying. But I'm not. I'm not a big TV fan, so I don't know really much about the show. I got this because I like. I was drawn to the color story. And it's just because it was something new and I had extra money and I was like, why not? Then it turns out to be almost the least used palette in my collection. Okay. If you watch the um, video where I said palettes I should have left on the show, this is one of them. The color story is not so much me. It is pretty. Okay. It's giving. But I just, it's not my use one, okay? I, I don't use this palette ever at all. I know at some point, Miss Janessa J. Champagne posted about this section. It was like her go-to section over here. And I'm like, huh, never tried it. <laughs> I still have not tried it, but I I just, I, I don't. I don't really, I don't really care for this palette as much as I thought I would, okay? Because, yeah, you know, summertime, bright colors, whatever. I I have so many color palettes. Y'all gonna see in here in a minute. Okay. 
But yeah, sorry, my mom texted me. But yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily need that palette. I just obviously don't. I don't want to get rid of it yet. <laughs> okay, I want to hold on to it, but I don't use it. Hi-key, I probably it might be part. I might be part of stuff, so don't go in. Okay, coming in at number 13. This one, I have a love-hate relationship with this. This is the Book of Spells, A Droplet of Magic. This is from P. Louise. Now, there are several P. Louise palettes in here. Y'all, P. Louise has a really nice formula. I know there's so much controversy with P. Louise. The shot, the shipping, the Michaela thing. Her past, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's. Okay, hold on. Um, Houston? Okay. Keep you guys stuck in the first second. But yeah, this is a drop of the magic. And whatever, like I said, all the controversy that that's their thing, okay. That's if it ain't got nothing involved with me, I'm not putting myself in it, okay. That's just how I am. In my, that's where I'm at in my life. If it does not evolve me, if it's not hurting me physically, mentally, or emotionally, and it's not hurting well, helping my paycheck, it ain't got nothing to do with me. But this is a drop of the magic. P. Lee's in a bulky behind packaging, okay. I, I understand the aesthetics and whatever, but girl. This is a whole ass book without pages. So this one's coming in number 13 because I just don't really see myself using this palette as much. Now this may fit somebody else's aesthetic, the golf vibe, the dark grindy vibe. <laughs> I may play with this like one ooh. Basic spit. Sorry. I may play with this like once or twice. I don't I don't know. I haven't really used it much. The only shade I've used is a witch's broom. And girl. She's gorgeous. Let me get a better swatch. I hate wop I hate wiping my fingers over the embossing because I think they're cute. Hello. Ooh. Pretty. Girl. Gorgeous. Okay. Quality is fire. I'm not gonna lie. It's the it's the fact that I'm just not so much into that one. This one's okay. I can see myself using this side a little bit more, but then again, I'm like I have these tones in other palettes that I'm gonna show you guys later down the line. Like it's not revolutionary enough for me to be like, oh, it's the best palette of 2023. No, baby, it's not. It's not. And some people are not going to agree with my first choice. But it's okay. Make it subjective. But this one's nice. It's just, it's not my favorite as in terms of, like, color story-wise and usage. The usage is the main thing. Like, I can MacGyver the second half of the palette. The first half, I probably end up using, like, once or twice of that. Okay. But it's a nice little whatever. What, what, 15, 14, 13. We're on to the palette number 12. Now, I've been sleeping on this palette for a while. I've tried their chapter books palettes and whatever. They're okay. They're not my favorite, but they're decent. Um, hence why they didn't even make it into the video. But this one, I, I had to put it in the front video because the formula on this one is so smooth and so pristine and buttery. The fallout is real, but the quality is there, the blend is there, the buildability is there. I had to. It is the Lorac Pro, or yeah, Lorac Pro Lost in Paradise palette. It's a collaboration with, I want to say, Saskia. But anyway, you open it, it's a double ended, a dual ended sided palette, whatever, dual sided palette. 
you have one side which is like a tropical side and then you have the paradise situation the color story is cute beautiful because this one makes me think of tropical vibes you know whatever and then you have your deep sea purple paradise whatever situation and together girl they're just beautiful i love the formula of the eyeshadows i can't really talk about the the two blushes and the highlighter because i have yet to use them but bitch let me tell you something this blue shade right here called aloha Did y'all see that? I live for that color. Like, I do use that blue quite a bit. And I'm not gonna lie. Because I just love myself in blue eyeshadow, baby. I love me some blue eyeshadow. Blue eyeshadow has been my thing since I've really gotten into the color. I feel like I have really dark brown eyes. And sometimes, like, certain colors make them look weird. Like, I don't like, I don't like green on my eyes unless I have contacts. Uh, it well, depends on the look, I guess. But with me having dark eyes, I can pretty much wear all colors. But just certain colors, on certain eye colors, just be looking banging. Okay. I like I, I like green on hazel. I like pretty much color on anybody besides me. <laughs> but yeah, this color story is beautiful. The formula is immaculate. And the fact that they was having a really good sale, and I got this for like nine dollars, made it even better. Okay, now the shipping took fucking forever, but the shipping from the UK to America is fucking expensive. But yes, I definitely enjoyed this one a lot more than I thought I would. Okay, coming in at number ten, I'm gonna give it its props where it's due. Wait, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. This is 11. I had to count backwards. My bad. Ugh. <laughs> this is number 11. This is the Forget Me Not palette for Blend Bunny. Now, this would have ranked higher if I used it more. Okay. Now, the other reason it's coming in at number 11, it was almost last place, but I had to like think hard about it. <laughs> Is because in fact this is a versatile, a versatile duo ended palette, especially for face and eyes. When you look at this, I see more of a contour palette versus an eyeshadow palette because you have your cool tone shades that you just want to chisel up the cheekbones with. These are beautiful shadows. I tried them all on my eyes. These make beautiful highlighters. I love using these on my face. It's coming low in because. I don't really use these on my eyes. I don't see me using it as much on my eyes. I do use like this shade or this shade on my for my brows or whatever. But this is specifically just a face palette for the most part for me. And I don't even contour. Like I just bronze my face. I don't like contouring. I don't like the way the shadow. I just never been good at it. So I don't like the gray tones. I just feel like I look sick or whatever. But I do use these for more of a bronzer, or sometimes I will pop them on the eye occasionally. But it's just not my favorite Bling Bunny palette. It's not the worst Bling Bunny palette, but it's just not my favorite, okay? I will be doing a separate ranking video of all of my Bling Bunny palettes. And, yeah. This is the lowest one on the two. <laughs> just, again, it's just not a very versatile palette for me because I only pretty much use it on my face. And... I wish there was other color options, I guess. But, yeah. We have that. I don't know. I have, like, a bunch of mixed feelings about it. It's good, but not something I use on a day-to-day basis, I guess. Okay, now going into number 10. <laughs> it's another P. Louise color, baby. It's, yeah. Yes, number 10. This is the Hocus Pocus Regain Focus palette. This is the one I wanted in my budget box. Then I wouldn't have to have bought the other one. But I'm not even mad. I'm kind of glad I got both because I, I'm a collector. 
of P. Louise palettes because of the quality. Okay, not so much the aesthetics. I don't, I wish, I wish they were going to be like as thin as the next palette. I'm going to show y'all. But, you know, beggars can't be cheaters. You can't get it okay? This one, you guys, oh my god. And you probably like, you didn't like the last one. You like this one? Give or take, yes. <laughs> okay, they're not dark, they're not grindy. You know, you have your light, light green colors over here. This color right here called Hunted Homes. Bitch. And this shit called Bubble Up. Excuse me? Tell me they does not go together and need to be in a little look, okay? I have used this palette three times since I've gotten it, and I just like it, okay? Especially Hunted Hun Hunted Homes is a really pretty gold, which is this shit right here. I love me a good gold. Now, as far as, like, the purples and stuff, I don't really gravitate towards those because guess what? I have a lot of purples and whatever. But it's the back for me, baby. If those don't scream China with the warm tones and the oranges and the deep bangings, I love it. I live for the back of this palette, baby. Like, if they just released this as a palette by itself, I would have bought it singly. I like the other half, too, but this is this is my favorite. I ain't gonna lie. This part is my favorite, and I love it a, light, a lot. This shade called Spooky Season. I see I see I know you see it. Now you see it. I got a hair on my nose. Go away. Shit. That would freak the fuck out. Yes. Spooky Seasons. Chef Kiss, bitch. Chef Kiss. Anyway, that's number 10. I, I, I enjoy this palette, okay, a lot. I just have other ones I use more. Now, the rest of this ranking, you guys, is just pretty much based off the usage. And... I had to make some really tough decisions, okay? Because y'all know me. Y'all know I live, breathe, sneeze for some neutral shades, okay? We're gonna throw this shit down there. We're gonna move some of these palettes. If you worry about them, they're fine. Trust me. I've dropped this whole stack of palettes before the video. They're fine. I was trying to create a thumbnail and I was like, uh, I'm gonna okay. But, yeah. Basically, the rest of these are just based purely off of usage. But, yeah. So, coming in at number nine... Yeah, it's the Blend Away 2022. Okay, now somebody peeped out this in the TikTok that the pants say 2023, but um, yeah, that is kind of weird. How is it called the Blend Away 2022, and then it says 2023, unless it's like I don't know. Anyway, this is what the palette looks like, you guys. I like this palette a lot because of the diversity of neutrals and pink tones. You can create a really pretty neutral tone or you can go burgundy pink. You know, it gives you those options. Now, this is a 50 pan palette. Is it a lot of shades? Yes. Are they all necessary? No. But it is still gorgeous and it still has some really bomb quality. And, ugh, girl. This is a palette I almost used for my Barbie look. I think I don't, I don't remember which one I used for my Barbie look. But it was almost this one and it, I didn't use it. But yes, I enjoy it, okay? I think it's a good palette. And I love, I prefer the packaging. If she's going to do something excessive, at least with the shadows, she should make them this, this like this. Hey, how thick and thin it is, it's easier to store than it's bulky behind books. 
but to each his own. Okay, anyway, I'm better reviewing products because I'm not a review channel, baby. I'm not a review channel. This is the palette number eight. This is the Sugar and Grunge palette, baby. This is from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Now, Blend Bunny is one of my favorite brands. I have all of her palettes besides the Makina palette. I don't know if I'm going to get that. I do want it just because it will finish off my collection. But at the same time, I'm just like, do I really need it? The answer is no. The answer is no. I don't need it. But I want it. Okay. But yes, this is a sugar and grunge palette, you guys. The color story is immaculate. I love this color story, okay? I, I definitely fell more in love with this color story than I thought I would. Um, it's not one of my most used palettes, but I do use her quite often. I do need to recreate this look and refilm this look I did with this palette. I was watching Miss Janessa J Champagne, and she was doing her makeup from the dome, and it was, which is essentially a ranking video. And she said something about a green and pink look. And I'm like, I got your green and pink with this palette. I got you, girl. And I filmed it, and I did a multi, I like, I did a multi look. Thing and I'm like I like I like the green side a lot better than I did the blue side because I was basically the look I'm wearing now I can create with this 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 row right here with this shade but that's beside the point <laughs> but yeah I I use a different palette for this look but it's generally generally the same tones I'm wearing right now it's basically this row but I'm not using this palette I'm using the next palette. But anyway, quality wise, I think she has done it with this. Um, I feel like every time she releases a new palette, she has a better formula, or the formula gets better with each release. This one's only ranking the number what is it? Seven, six, five, four, eight, seven, because the other one kind of beat this one out. Because this one I used to use a lot more than that one, and then. I started looking at the color story and started being more creative. Because the other one makes me push my creativity. This one, I use it specifically both for some monochromatic moments. But she is a good palette. And I definitely recommend her if you're into like the more muted bright colors. They're not like neon pastel -y. They're not like popping your face, but they are there. Okay. No, do you want to myself? Need some help. Sorry, I'm listening to Jelly Roll. So, coming in at number six, baby. This is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It is a sickly sweet palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Now, when I first initially saw this palette, I was like, yeah. <laughs> but that's because I don't like mixed matchy random color stories. Just because I, I'm not very good at putting plotting out looks like that. It takes me a hot minute. I literally have to sit there and stare at the palette like playing connect the dots because I'm not quick with the okay, well this can go with this and this and da da da. I I'm again a very monochromatic type of girl. Okay. I like to specifically say it within the color story. Um of one color genre because it's just, it makes more sense, and I feel like it looks more appealing on me, you know? Like, don't get me wrong. Girls with, like, the multicolor or whatever, I've done some different looks, or, like, purple and gold or whatever, and they look really, really good. It's just... When I look at it, it makes my head hurt. <laughs> but it also tests my creativity, okay? But, yeah, this is a secret sweet body lady. And the fact that this was a Halloween release kind of made it a little, more, a little bit more special. A lot of people were mad that she was like, this is never a Halloween palette. But if I'm like, if y'all not read the post before that, she explained why she released it during Halloween. Halloween. She wanted to be, broaden, broaden people's horizons to the fact that Halloween does not necessarily have to mean dark and grunge. You can have pastel, spooky, you know. You can bring color, you can add bright colors 
to your Halloween look. Like, it can be it's good for, like, fairy makeup. It's good for, like, any type of makeup, basically. Because it has your standardized transitional tones, your mid-tones. And you still have some darker tones without the pal throughout the palette to help deepen and add depth to certain looks. Okay? Now, I've used Just an Act, Fill in Blue, Sprinkles, Cotton Sparkles, and Cry if you want to, and a little bit of Cupcake. Cupcake is a shade that's in the too, but... Okay, those are all the shades on my eye right now. Oh, yeah, and then... No. No, I didn't. Never mind. I started to go into... I'm fine, and I didn't really want with this one. But... Overall, like, this palette is really, really pretty once you really figure out the looks you can do with this and when you want to become a little bit more creative. It's a really pretty look, okay? It's a really pretty palette. And the fact that I've used this palette a little bit more than I thought I would, it beats the odds, girl. It beats the odds. Coming in at number five. Now... This was a very hard decision because generally I use these palettes together. So, okay. But coming in at number five, you guys, is <laughs> the Carnival XL Remastered. Now, I wanted to get the Interstellar palette, but it's always sold out and I don't know if they're going to bring it back. Um, especially when it's on sale. I'm sorry. Not that I need it. I don't need it. But I was so reluctant to get try the remastered palette or the Be Perfect and Station Movie palettes because I'm just like, they're just a bunch of colors. I'm like, oh my god. But the formula of Be Perfect eyeshadows, girl, they is good. Okay. They is worth the little hype that they get. But. Girl, this is the color story of the remastered. I, girl, I love the layout. Again, it's easy to see. You know, you can create monochromatics. You can mix and match. You can be creative. You have your neutrals. You have your plum tones, purples, blues, greens, and your ready oranges. It is a really all-out, basically all-you-need rainbow palette. Or even everyday palette type situation. It's almost like a one-and-done, okay? But, you know, us being excessive for my makeup collection. Yes. I don't know. I generally just, I do like it. It's just ranking lower just because I'm, I'm a neutral girl, baby. Okay. And, I, again, I only really wear monochromatic looks. So, oh, shit. The fuck? Oh, it's my core. I'm like, what? It's touching my leg. I only really wear monochromatic looks. So, it doesn't really get as much creativity looks as it should. But, you know. I, I I really kind of fudge more with the blues. Again, I'm a blue girl. I mean, there are so many blue eyeshadow palettes we can release right now, and my heart is so happy. I'm not going to lie. I did kind of order the Michaela palette because of the blues. I'm not going to lie. Blue just looks good on me. I can't help it. Okay, did I need it? No. I I, I have those tones. And then there, there's a blue palette in the budget box for Kid Louise, too. That I kind of bought just for the palette. But yeah, anyway. I didn't kind of just mess with the blue tones and then I've used the purples. I've used almost all the colors in this palette besides the reds. No, no, I didn't. I didn't use the reds. I used it in my 4th of July look. I don't know if I filmed that, though. It was like a multi or whatever. So anyway, I've used majority of this palette for the most part. And... The quality is definitely worth it, okay? So the next one is number four. Number four, hi. Wait, wait, wait. Five. This is number five. Sorry. I have my palace upside down, okay? They're, they're backwards. This is number five. I think I said that was number five. This is number six. This is number five. Don't don't judge me. This is number five. This is the Love Tahiti palette, also with Be Perfect and Stacey Marie. I didn't even know who Stacey Marie was. I didn't start following her till like a month ago. And let me tell y'all though, her style of makeup is beautiful. She always does these like smoked out, blown out looks. And I'm just like, if I try that, I look like I have a black eye. 
If I try that, I look like most of the clown. Like, cut hair. But yeah, the way her style of makeup is just really, really pretty. So this one, I love this palette, y'all. Like, it gives you tropical vibes, and the quality is good. Put these greens on your eye. These greens really were, at the time, the most pretty greens I've had that I was willing to try. Because people don't get me wrong. I have a Blend Bunny Surge. I had a Blend Bunny Primal and a Blend. But... I just never played with them, and then I got this palette, and it made me want to play more, and I'm like, Ooh. So, yeah, I, I, girl, I live for this. Now, these don't have as many blues, like, this is pretty much the only blue section you got, which is okay, I mean, give or take, but this tropical, or not tropical, safari-looking section right, section right here, I live, okay, I live. But she's just a really pretty palette, and the looks I've created with this one, they've just been really, really pretty. Like I said, I do normally tend to use these together, so it, it just kind of works together with me. But yeah, that's number five. Coming in at number four, I just bashed his secondary his second sister from a distant cousin. I don't even know how you want to call it, palette, but whatever. It is the Patrick Tall Major Dimension 3. This is ranking number four because I, it's an all matte palette, okay? I don't really specifically like all matte palettes. This is ranking number four specifically for formula. I love, I love the formula in this palette, okay? His matte formula, it blends so smoothly. It's so buttery. It's easy to use. Now, give or take, he did change his cream formula a little bit, and I've actually used him as eyeliner. At least the black one. I haven't tried the brown one yet. I don't know. Me and brown liners just don't get along. But I have taken that across the eye. It's like a wing liner situation. And let me tell you, it was hard to hell to get off. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, which means it's going to last all day. But the formula, okay, it's not as creamy. It is definitely dries down a lot faster than the ones in his other palettes. But he did say that, so if you haven't watched a little Instagram, whatever. But yeah, this formula is just one of the best formulas that he's gotten. It's not a lot of a fallout, it's a lot of kick up, but I, don't, I didn't have a lot of fallout. But yeah, I just still need a shimmer palette with this, so it's just like a more so of a conjunction palette. But honey, give me a shimmer palette and give me this palette. I, I don't need no more palettes in my collection. Okay, but it's, it's a really nice palette. Coming in number three. Specifically because, again, it's all about usage on this this part. This is my most used colorful palette besides my Be Perfect palettes, okay? But, Bling Bunny just has my heart with her formula and the genuine of her, genuine of the, 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 the English girl. Anyway, color story-wise... This just works for me because it's monochromatic. I can see looks. I can get looks out of this. I've done several looks with this. Mixing these two rows, mixing these two rows, and somewhat mixing these two rows. I don't think I filmed all of them, but I know I filmed a couple of blue looks. But I don't know if y'all can see that little silver thing down in there. Yes, ma'am. Yo, girl. Hit pain. Yo, girl. Hit pain. Ayy. Hey. Like I said, I, I do play in my makeup. I do use my makeup sometimes. I, you know, I don't film every good look. I do. I don't. Okay. And it is my bottom teeth. But yeah, this is a really, a really pretty palette. Okay. Formula is immaculate. And I, I think her newer palettes, like the Sickly Sweet, is a little bit better formulated. Because they're a little bit more creamier. The shimmer shade's a little bit more creamier. But this one just holds my heart because... I, I just like we use this one so much. And I've created very some really pretty bomb looks with this and some of my favorite looks that I've done in twenty twenty three with this palette. Okay. So so far right now, this is my favorite looks of twenty twenty three. And it's with the sickly sweet, so I might put a picture collage of my favorite looks of twenty twenty three. Uh I think I'm thinking about it. 
All right, y'all. Coming in at number two. I never thought I was going to try this brand, eyeshadow wise. I have the face products, I like a little bit, but not that I like about this. This is the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. Now, originally I got this on sale, okay? I was not going to pay $60 something dollars for it, I'm sorry. Um, that's why I don't have the grind, the pure grind, it's purely grind or whatever it's called, palette, because it's expensive. For me right now um but this palette is so pretty <laughs> okay here we are y'all got ready tell me that i'm scream china without telling me don't scream china if you guys don't know i tell you i wear a lot of neutrals i love me some neutrals i i have to have me some neutrals baby the formula i will say beats out patrick tall in a way that these are literally butter not like butter. These are literal buttery. Butter. They are the smoothest matte formula I have tried in a hot minute. Um, I do not like the fact that she has one, two, three-ish cream shadows in here. This one feels more like a super shock situation. I don't know how to split it. It's not necessarily a cream, but it's not necessarily a powder. I have no clue what the hell it is. But <clears throat> this one has a weird texture. But... Uh, sorry, I'm looking over here, and then it's like my, the cubs started, like, moving. And it's not a fan, because that shit would have failed a long time ago. I don't know. Shit got me fucked up up here, okay? Anyway... But that color is so pretty. Just put that on the eyes. This color right here, called Bow Moose, is one of my favorite. It is so buttery, so creamy. It is flaky as hell. I ain't gonna lie. This is some flaky shadows in this palette. But the shine, the quality, hands down, one of the best. Okay. It's the best. I definitely want to try more from her when they're on sale but if all of her shadows are flaky like this i probably be like questionable but as long as they perform well a little bit of following hurt nobody i do my face last anyway so coming in at number one oh sorry Alright, whatever. We'll be alright. Coming at number one, you guys, is the P. Louise Wedding Wish Palette. Now, I don't think I've done I don't know, it looks freaky. But yeah, this is my most used palette, you guys. Besides my big mama palette back there that I didn't put in this video, I do use this one quite a lot. Mostly for the shimmer shades, because they just are really pretty. Now, some of these do feel like more topper shades, but this shade called Promise. Okay. Like that's one swatch, okay? Such a beautiful palette. This purple shade called Marry Me. Yeah. 
I just love I mean, a big neutral palette because it's like a beautiful everyday situation. And people with this formula is quite nice. I will say the Huda Beauty one, quality wise, is a little bit nicer because the, the matte shades in that one are a little bit more smoother. But the shimmers in this one, I feel like pack a little bit more punch. They're not quite as messy. But I do use this one more than the Empower palette. And yeah. I just, I love it. It's another 50 pan. Do you need all the shades? No. It's definitely way massive. Way more shadows than what it's worth. And, and what you would need. But I just enjoy this palette because of the fact it's neutral. I can see myself using this. I can see shade. I can see so many looks. Even though they'll be very similar looks. Because I do feel like P. Louise dupes herself a lot. But that is what I think. Anyway, guys, that is what my thoughts are this year on all the palettes I've used in 2023. I'm not, again, this is my very first time doing this type of situation. So, please let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to y'all on my next one. Bye.